Hey everybody, um, just an update on my uh, AXA M6 projector um, status. I have received my new AXA M6 projector in the mail. Um, I got it actually last week. Um, it was a fairly fast process. I've been off the grid dealing with a couple of other things dealing with the projector during the past few days. Um, most notable was that you see that I mounted on my ceiling here and that when I went to screw the new one on the ceiling, the brass fitting that is simply glued, unbeknownst to me, um, just popped out. So I almost dropped the projector on the floor uh, because it wasn't uh, fitted in well and it wasn't uh, fastened well. So um, I had to phone and make sure I wasn't going to void my warranty by using uh, an epoxy to uh, fit that back in. But just be warned, my friends, that... Um, there's nothing much holding that tripod mount into the hole um, on the top of the projector aside from a little brass fitting ring that is glued in there. So, you know what, you want to be wary of that because my last M6 was hanging from the ceiling as well before I had to send it back because of dead pixels and um, luckily it didn't fall down because of that fitting. but. Um, looking at how it is installed now, I have to say that is concerning. So um, I always thought it was so convenient that um, the tripod mount was on the projector. Um, but now I'm starting to think that the real um, sort of uh, the other 1080 projectors with the full on ceiling mount, although they wouldn't be good for me because I have my treadmill over here and uh, I like to watch when I work out and I'd be obstructed by a huge um, mount. Uh, might be much more secure <laughs> for supporting your projector. So keep that in mind if you decide to get the M6 that um, you might need to consider um, if you're going to ceiling mount it making sure that that brass ring is fastened in there. But you know what I used an epoxy that was good for metal and plastic and um, it has worked very well so far so I'm crossing my fingers that's going to continue to be good. Epoxies are amazing these days. The next concern was is that um, when I got the new projector back they actually sent me back the new projector in the exact same box that I sent it back with along with all the accessories and because I got my first M M6 um, post-production meaning that it wasn't out on Amazon yet or they weren't mass producing it yet I got the old remote that would work with the uh, P300 or the M5 or whatever and because um, uh, but they do have a new remote for the uh, production M6 models and uh, so my old uh, remotes don't work with it so I've got a, uh, the new remote that I'm assuming is on a different um, IR frequency than the other um, remotes and um, it's in the mail but I've only been able to control it by using the buttons, which has been kind of a hassle. And I just pray that it is that the remote's on a dif different frequency because, um, you know, um, uh, I tried everything <laughs> to get the other older remotes that I used for my P300 and actually the other M6 projector I had. Like the P300 remote worked for the post-production M6 model, but because these are the production models, um, I'm assuming they've, uh, with, and it is a new style of remote, assumingly by the same company though, because they look like they're by the same people, just minus the keystoning feature on the remote. Um, I'm assuming that it's going to work. So, um, why they wouldn't have the foresight to do to send me back a remote with if that worked, I don't know. But, you know, I guess I, I could see how they'd overlook that because they're in full production model and I got mine a bit earlier. So, you know, um, once that remote comes in, I'm assuming it's going to work. If it does, then I'll be laughing all the way to the bank. You can see here that this projector is in good shape. Um, it is, um, I'm zooming right into the screen. Look at that. Look at, I am, you know, maybe four or five inches away right now. If I zoom in right close on that number four, look at that. Look, the pixels are just so small. This 1080p has been such a dream. It's just, oh God, I hope that um, I'm not gonna get dead pixels with this one because I just, I hope it was just the one model, the post-production model, kind of like a beta, and that this one will not develop dead pixels. My P300, which is a 1280 by 800 pixels, um, is old technology for AXA. I've had it for well over a year and a half and it has not developed any dead pixels. So I just pray that this uh, production model will be a um, 
well-rounded, um, sound technologically uh, M6 1080p projector because I don't want to send it back again. I don't want the hassle and um, you know because I'm in Canada like I said it cost me you know $900 close to a thousand dollars and in the States 700 bucks is a lot I know because the food's so much cheaper down there anyway um, you can see though that the image is beautiful especially if you're sitting at home um, using a 1080 or sorry a 720p projector the difference is so huge especially if you're getting a big screen this is a hundred inch screen okay that I'm showing you on so good news I got my new model AXA technology customer service was great um, for the re for the um, uh, for the the brand new for giving me the brand new projector um, after the dead pixels uh, the customer service I received for the brass fitting when it popped out was terrible I had a trainee on the phone I'm not gonna name him but you know who you are if you watch this dude and um, so I had to escalate on him and, and seek out help from somebody else in the organization um, pretty much this kid was trying to get me off the phone <laughs> and telling me he had other customers and that it wasn't mount, meant to be mounted on the ceiling that this model wasn't meant mount, uh, meant to be mounted on the ceiling and I said are you kidding me then how come there's technology and uh, programming so that I can flip the image over that's bull don't tell me that buddy so I think the new trainee doesn't quite understand that people are dropping a lot of money on this particular unit anyway um, new projector and I'm hopefully gonna get my remote that's gonna work just fine dealt with a little issue here and there but uh, as you can see I'm up and running running again I'll make some videos coming up some more 1080p videos uh, overall acts of customer service has been great aside from that one little hiccup which you know did happen on the day I just got the second projector so I was a little bit upset I have to say that the brass fitting just fell out a lot of technology in this to have some um, you know some basic thing like that become an issue some basic assembly um, mounting thing to become such a problem anyway i hope you have a great uh, day thanks for uh, watching this let me know if there's any videos you want me to make with the axe m6 in 1080p to help you make your choices about purchase right now this is running in eco mode that's why it's so quiet but it is as i've done in my uh, spoken about in my previous reviews much louder in its regular um, mode which is also brighter anyway have a great day